Howdy folks, my name is Sirsha. Welcome to the Fox Den. This is American Truck Simulator. Now, before we get into this, I just want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by today. This is the very first YouTube video I've ever produced by myself. And so I know it's going to be a little bit rough, but I would greatly appreciate your patience and I greatly appreciate your support. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. And so I figured what better way than with my favorite game right here. Let's get into it. So here we are. Welcome to Los Angeles. As you can see, we're here in the uh, wonderful International LT. This is one of my favorite trucks. Now, a little bit of my background, I uh, used to drive trucks. I drove trucks for a few years, and um, most of my uh, career was done in Freightliners. So this is, to me, it's always more fun to kind of play this thing and, uh, and uh, drive things that I didn't have a chance to drive. Um, in my actual career. So that's why we went ahead and went with this one today. Uh, it painted up in my uh, my own uh, uh, color scheme there. And uh, what we're gonna do today is just a, a quick uh, quick run uh, up the five uh, to Eureka. We're gonna be taking a load of diesel. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started up. off and off we go that is the uh, air brake system warning we're a little bit a uh, little bit low on air but it should uh, it should get up there pretty quick I think got a green light we're gonna take it off we go So one question I used to get asked a lot uh, whenever I would stream this game was, um, Sirsha, why do you want to come home from work just to go back to work? And the truth of the matter is, when you do this game, you can do what you want. You know, you can play uh, in a way that you wouldn't actually do in real life. Like, you can't make this kind of money in real life. You can't, uh, you can't, um, you know, make these choices like you do as a company driver like I was. So it's always fun to kind of see uh, what could have been, you know, and see what could have happened if you had, uh, if you had um, gone the route of the, of owning your own truck or whatnot. It's expensive. It's expensive to do that. So one thing I'm hoping to do with this particular series is just kind of pass along my knowledge of, uh, of truck driving and try to see if I can apply that uh, to this game right here. It's not really all that easy, um, simply because the game doesn't really model certain things very well. Um, especially things like uh, hours of service. Let's go over here to the left. We can take this left here at this light. Um, hours of service, fatigue, you know stuff like that it's uh, one of those things you just kind of have to uh, make do with you know that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make do so we got a little ways to go to pick up this trailer we got to go to the Exxon um, refinery outside of town. But as you can see on my phone there, up the, on the dashboard, that uh, just come on across there, whatever you're going to do. I should probably slow down. I'm doing 36 into 30. doing 40 <laughs> in a 30 don't mind me check that mirror and away we go so one of the things that I like to do when I play a game like this is I like to kind of give myself like a weird handicap 
um, you know, doing things the way I used to do them and uh, trying to apply that real world knowledge to something like this, which is, I don't know if it's a weird thing or what. It's just something that I, I, I like. I, I like doing it. It makes it more fun for me. If I could actually keep logs and do stuff like that, I totally would. I totally would. We can do right on red. We ain't got a trailer. Make it happen. Off we go. One of the things I'm hoping to get at some point um, is a wheel and pedal combination. Do it like uh, some of my um, my favorite uh, YouTubers do it. Uh, especially Jeff Fabiano. He does wonderful American Truck Simulator stuff. If you've never seen any of his stuff, go check it out. He's really good. All right, here we come to the uh, Exxon refinery here. Go ahead and pull on in here. And see what we can find. Okay, looks like my GPS. It shows it's in the back of the plant. So we're on the plant. We're going to go and turn our four ways on. Got to be really careful when you're at the customer like this. You never know what's going to be around any corner. Now, normally we'd stop and check in back there at the um, at the uh, at the shipping office, but we're going to assume we've already done that. There it is, right there. Must be the one on the end, I think. Yeah, it's the one on the end. All right, so let's go ahead and get set up. Turn in reverse and just lean out our window and back on up. the clay so we're gonna put our parking brake on climb on out and do ourselves a uh, quick uh, quick pre-trip which is what you're supposed to do before you take off on any load make sure your coupling is secure make sure your electrics work your air brakes work all of that stuff we're gonna assume that they do crank her on up and there we go so if you can see the midship light back there on that tanker is operating Signals are good. Brake lights are good. Actual lights are good. Midship light looks good. We assume we've got air pressure. Do what's called the tug test, which we can't really simulate on this because we can't use the trailer brake. Well, you can. I just don't have it set up. So we're done there. We are ready to go. Take a look at our GPS. It's a 700 mile drive of 14 hours and 41 minutes. So um, this will be the only run we do today off and we got to put it in gear first Let's try that again and we'll pull around out Don't mind me as I uh, take up every single square inch of this driveway. Looking left, looking right, back left again, make this turn. And watching that mirror on my left side, and we are clear. So off we go. On to Eureka.
right, we are underway. Go ahead and get over to the right lane when we can. It is 45 through here, but we're still we're gonna try to stay in the right lane if we can help it, because we are, after all, a truck. And we're back to 30. I love LA. Best part of the job right here, just kind of cruising through town in a big, 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 big truck. I'm honestly not even sure where I am right now, to be honest. I guess that's downtown there, so I must be, uh, probably, uh, what's, uh, west LA, west of LA there? Just south of the, south of the 101? Now, it is right on red, but I can't squeeze past him, so... Just have to wait till he turns. Here he goes. And we go straight, turn late, make sure that that trailer clears. Just like that. And we're off. Now you gotta be careful when you're driving these tankers. There's something that you have to worry about called surge, and it uh, is exactly what you would imagine if you think of what surge is. The liquid in the tank's gonna move, and sometimes they have baffles and sometimes they don't. If they don't, when you stop, you're gonna rock a little bit, or a lot. Ugh, where's the freeway? I need the freeway. Get out of town. Here we go. Almost there. We're almost there. We can finally get on the freeway and get out of town. So we're getting on the five, so that's going to be the uh, Hollywood Hills out there just past us. Stretch out a little bit, make sure we don't take the trailer, and we are good. And away we go. Now here in California, the uh, truck speed limit's only 55. So you just gotta have to deal with it. That's just the way it is. up to speed. Yeah, we'll give her a little bit more. A little more juice. Yeah, 57 should be alright. Is that cruise control? And just... Let's have a gander at the outside of this thing. So now we just kind of settle in for the for the long haul, and um, you know, listen to some audio books or listen to some music or snack a little bit if you've got something out there. I normally have something right down there between the seats with a with a, uh, a cooler with some drinks in it, and some snacks, and then um, this is your life. This is it right here. The kind of stuff you'd see, the kind of stuff you do, this is it. It's um it's not very glamorous, but it is very important. So 
Thank a truck driver next time you see one. We certainly appreciate it. Let's have a gander at this thing. What do you think, huh? It's nothing but straight roads for a while. I'm just gonna see what we're looking at. I do like the uh, the work they did on this uh, this trailer for this mod. They did a really good job with it. Very impressed. Now, I admittedly have not yet enabled the free camera, so this episode is going to be a little bit odd, but I'm going to do my best, and I appreciate your patience, as I said in the opening. As you can see, there's a, a truck lane sign there, which means they expect us trucks to use these things because we're now getting into hill country. And as you can see, we're starting to slow down. Trying to climb up this hill with all this weight behind us, it's just, it's very hard to do. So since we are now 15 under our own speed limit, we're gonna turn on our four ways. There's a broke down truck there, so we have to give him some space. just kind of plod our way up this hill. Do our best to get to the top unscathed. And now that we're starting to come down the hill, we're going to turn our four ways on. We're staying in the right lane. This is the truck, truck lane. Right up here on the right, as you can see, a runaway truck ramp. The only saver we've got if we're running down the hill. As you can see, that's all gravel up there, and then there's barrels full of water at the top. So you hope that you are able to get stopped before you hit those barrels. All right, now we're out of the hills. We're gonna go ahead and keep on cruising. GPS real quick and see where we are going to be going. We're going to be exiting on the right up here. Staying with the I-5, with the 5, and uh, keeping on towards San Francisco. Road work ahead, which means there's going to be a lane closure here in a second. And it's the left lane that's closed. All right. I'm expecting to get cut off by someone passing me. Well, that guy's, uh, he's not gonna... Right, no, he's not gonna come up, so he's gonna... I'll just keep on going. And we're through the construction. <laughs> it didn't take long, did it? Take a look at our fuel situation as we're coming up on this truck stop. And we are just a shade under half a tank, so we should be in um, in pretty good shape for a while. We'll just go ahead and keep on trucking and take our chances. There should be more than there should be more truck stops between here and Eureka. Huh? All those night drivers over there taking their 10-hour break and then during the daytime. Well, welcome to wine country. And just, well, I guess fruit country too. If you aren't aware, I'm sure you are, but uh, California agriculture is a big deal. So, here in Central California and all, all this area around here, it's all farms, all orchards, vineyards, orchards, uh, vegetables, all of it's up here. So, the state runs on its agriculture.
Oh. Way station coming up that we gotta pull into. Chicken coops open. Pull on in. Should we stay to the right where it says loaded and submit to an inspection? My favorite part. We're at 69,000 pounds of gross weight. We passed the inspection. And it's just that simple. <laughs> In actuality, it, it's a it's a pretty significant process if you actually get inspected, but they have not yet modeled that in this game, so that's, I guess, a good thing. <laughs> yeah, don't have to do a whole level one inspection. Let's get this thing back up to speed. Continue our journey. Stop there. A few people there. Well, here we are still cruising away. To pull up our GPS and see what we got left. 478 miles. We'll leave that up for now just so we can kind of see it. So, 7 o'clock, 1900, so it's going to get dark here pretty soon. We'll go ahead and turn on our headlights, just to be on the very safest of safe sides. Well, I, uh, I certainly hope that everybody's day is going all right. I know mine certainly is. I'm a little bit nervous, but... Uh, doing the best I can to make this as entertaining as possible. Uh, I'm not going to be known as a American Truck Simulator uh, uh, Let's Player. I will branch out to other things, but like I said in the opening, I wanted to uh, start this whole thing with one of my favorite games, and so here we are. I've loved this game for even before I was driving trucks, just because of I, I like it. I like logistics. I like driving trucks, and it, for me, it was it's it's always been a lot of fun, you know. And so here we are, finally uh, sharing one of my passions with you guys, and hopefully, um, hopefully things will get better, you know. I know it's not much to look at. I'm still learning, but we'll get there. I hope uh, four or five years down the line I can look back on this and uh, remember when. And I hope that you'll come along with me on this journey. Looks like traffic's starting to slow down a little bit up here, so I wonder what's, uh, I wonder what's going on. And roll off uh, our speed a little bit just to keep the distance there. I don't have smart cruise control on this truck for some reason. Creeping up. That guy up there, that uh, other tanker up there is riding his brakes. You see how the brake lights are on? he's doing up there that's that's dangerous that's brake fire waiting to happen is what that is isn't she gorgeous like I said before I love 
the international LTs. I think they're wonderful trucks and international. You know, they did a really good job with them. You'll find drivers that don't like them, but then you'll find drivers that don't like any trucks, even the ones that they drive and the ones that they bought. Unless they're driving, you know, those big, 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 big custom jobs that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Those guys are real proud of their equipment. Well, we are coming up on seven hours in game <laughs> worth of driving. So it's uh, getting pretty close. We're starting to get close to time that we should look at uh, shutting down for our 10 hour break. Stop it for the night. Let's pull up the map real quick and see where we are. We're almost in Oakland, if you see there. So if we stay with the 508, I'm sorry, 580 right here. There's a truck stop right there off the 580, just outside of Oakland. So I think that's where we're going to plan on shutting down for the night. It's probably a little bit early, you know, if you're a die-hard trucker, but um, really in these cases, it's better safe than sorry, you know. Safety's a big thing when it comes to driving these trucks, so you want to do whatever you can to be safe. You get over to the left here, uh, are they going to let us? No, no, I can stay here. Sorry, my bad. One of the things I did in my career that I absolutely loved was I was an instructor for new drivers. And I've, I've trained, you know, older gentlemen. I've trained older ladies. I've trained young guys. Young. I've trained all different manner of people. And I've learned that this job will humble you. You might think you're the greatest driver to ever hit pavement. Go drive yourself a truck. Boy, night comes quick around here, doesn't it? Good lord. Coming up here to Oakland, and you can see here on the right side, if you look down there in the lower right, that our exit's coming up. So we're gonna be exiting here, and we're gonna stop at that truck stop there for the night. And hit it again in the morning. see around that barrier. Ah, uh, it's just a rest area. It's not even a truck stop. Ah, it's a service station. That's why. We'll pull over here to the left side at this rest area and shut her down. to get this thing out of the way we want to give other drivers the opportunity to use the uh, facilities here let's get out and take a look what do you think huh yeah, we don't want to box those other cars in but you know what We'll make it work. And... 
Should be good right there, I think. Let's take a look. Zoom around, take a look. Keep on coming back a little bit more. Right there. Pop the brakes. Four ways off. Lights off. Engine off. And now, it's dark. That's it. Now we would rest. We get back there in the back with all of our, uh, you know, our, our laptop and our, our, our phones and our tablets, and we just kick back, relax, and sleep. Have ourselves a uh, good dream or two, and then uh, we'd hit it again in the morning. So I think that's going to do it for uh, this episode here. Um, I uh, certainly hope that uh, you enjoyed it. Um, like I said before, I'm going to definitely get my feet under me and kind of figure out the, uh, the best ways to do this. So um, I uh, certainly look forward to you coming along on this little journey. And um, I will look forward to uh, seeing all of you guys next time. You guys take care and make sure to keep the rubber side down. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I know that it was a little bit rough and that it's going to take a little bit of time to get my feet under me, but this is a learning experience, both in terms of the production here and also the um, presentation. So I do appreciate your patience. I do promise to get better at this. If you like what you saw today and you want to see me do more, please do leave a like and subscribe down below. I'm going to do my best to have a regular upload schedule, but again, I have a full-time job, so we'll see how that goes. But I am committed to bringing you the best content that I can. So once again, thank you so much for stopping by today, and I do hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week.